What is up everybody and welcome to another video and in today's video I'm actually going to do a bit of a review of Megatech because in my opinion it's actually one of the most underrated games I have played or uh, actually been part of the community for because the game has so much going for it that it's actually a shame that there aren't that many people playing it. Um, it's, it's honestly absolutely fantastic. I personally bought the game a while ago. Um, and I've just been playing it um, just with friends. The multiplayer works quite well, um, especially uh, with people like, for instance, I tried playing with people who were in uh, completely other regions of the earth and they were completely fine with the um, actually net coding. Sometimes it can be a bit buggy if the host has a bad internet connection and then it can lead to all kinds of weird things happening on the server. But for the most part, it seemed to be really, really, really uh, good and efficient in everything and what it does. And um, I'm just going to go through some of its features and stuff. So, first off, it does have its own login system. It doesn't use Steam, but the reason for this is because the developer has distributed um, the game on other sites. At, not all of them are Steam related. And so he couldn't use the Steam login as a form of sharing and stuff. But there is a very, very cool um, sort of, I guess you could say, community um, connection with the game because if I go to load games, uh, it's not only my games I can see if I go to public grids. Like you can search for new ones, old ones, all kinds of stuff and they've been published really recently. There are uh, multiple different users, you can see some of my work is there too. Um, that I just posted. These ones are ones that you can uh, do local saves of, the other ones you can't. Um, so it, it's all really, it, it's really fun because you can play with what other people have made. People have made like dodgeball arenas, uh, some of them first person shooter sort of uh, style of gameplay. So you get sort of like a sort of old fashioned arena shooter sort of feel for the game. Um, there are all kinds of uh, parkour maps that I've seen done there are some that are purely for aesthetics like one guy recreated an airport which was pretty impressive um, it was very big uh, there's a good tutorial in the game right now but the developer has actually said he's spoken to me and he has said that he will update the tutorial uh, in the future and he will continue fleshing out the game um, and he'll just make the entire game better than it already is um, and in my opinion it's already very very good for what a one-man development uh, team has been able to now do. then I've gone ahead and loaded up a world for us to for, for me to show you guys uh, this is a quick world that I made um, and it's really just to show all the different types of blocks this isn't very updated uh, it was two updates ago was when I stopped producing stuff for it but uh, as you can see there's quite a, as the mod would, as the game would describe it, there's quite a plethora of blocks. Um, the game features some really really interesting graphic style, like uh, to be honest I really really like the art style that uh, the developer went with for the game. It's very very fun uh, in terms of the actual, just the art style. It, it seems like a very um, uplifting game, it's family friendly. There's nothing vulgar or anything. You can also change the way your character looks uh, in options and you go to player and there are all kinds of different things you can do. Um, for instance, I can make my guy pink, but I personally quite like him, um, like the way he is. Uh, you can change the armor types that they have on and it's, it's really quite um, an interesting... Um, customization option because I have never run into a player that has had the same color setup as I have and it's really good um, so I'm just gonna go and um, take the gun as I designed this level to be and this gun is actually a bouncy gun it used to be an old update so that the bullets would come back but uh, I think he's since removed that uh, something interesting is you see the glow below that from the nozzle of the gun. Uh, that's other players can actually see that too, which is really nice. It's a nice little feature. And so this room here is I designed it as a little way to just show off small things that this game can do. Uh, so if I shoot that, it actually closes the doors and prevents you from leaving, but it activates as the light bridge that allows you to pass. 
So once you've passed, you can just shoot that again, and uh, you can head into the little garden over here, which I made. Um, this garden is actually the end result of uh, my little um, room exploration thing. And here is a little entrance to a secret, hi secret hidden door with a pressure plate and a little um, opening. And it says, Welcome to the Chamber. It was very creative. Uh, this just shows you different types of blasters and stuff. So, you can see it's like that one's a bullet, that one's a laser, and this one's just a fire. Uh, here are the lava sprouts and the lava pits which are in there. Um, you can't really see that too well. If I hop in that, I will die. And here's the same thing for acid with nice little aesthetic fans that actually cast shadows on the wall, which are very, very nice in my opinion. Um, there's a lot of stuff with the lighting that you can do in this game. This is an explosive tube. I really I don't want to shoot it. And I decided to sort of go with a sort of power sort of... Uh, so the lava and the acid are sort of power methods in this space. Um, so I'm going to teleport away. And here... Oops. Forgot. I need to... Uh, ah! Okay. There. I made it off. Bit of uh, an issue there with me. That's just um, my me being incapable. Um, these are the enemy AI that you will encounter. I believe there are a few more, maybe. Um, I just spawned like one of practically each. There are Bigfoots, Rhinos, Rollers, and Assault Rollers, and then there's the Scrapper Roller, which is down there. Um, and yeah, there's also a really nice view. You can change to Sunset and stuff. If you watched my other Mega Tech video, you would have seen a earlier version of this base um, with a Sunset. Uh, so I'm going to teleport away again. And here's just a quick example of some other stuff. This was meant to be sort of like a sort of portal style test chamber. And so this is just meant to be like a little um, jump pad that you can just hop up. And then here you need two jumps because you go higher the second time, I believe. And here's just like a little beacon that I decided to make just to show off the view. Usually it's a bit nicer with the sun rising or something. But, um, welcome to Megatech, yeah. Um, oh well, I forgot how light the, um, gravity was in this map. Well, anyways, um, so I'm going to go back and you spawn down here, which is in the little garden that I made. Here's the lava pits, which you can see down there, and there are the, um, oh, sorry, that's the acid one, this is the lava one. Wow. Okay. There is a hole in there. Whoops. Did not think that would happen. Well, now I know that I have to go fix that. Oh, man. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the building mechanics in the game are really, really simple. Um, if you press E, you are given access to the plethora of blo blocks that you can access. Um, I, I just really need to go down here. And if I can just place this correctly there so yeah I believe I might have cut that cut that hole just to get in here really really quickly to place that teleporter well anyways so yeah these are the, the this is the lava um, uh, pit and those that's the acid one there are also pickups and uh, stuff like that which is over here in this little building that I built um, again, just showing off some of the blocks and some of the light that gets radi radiated off of them. They're really, really neat looking in my opinion. Um, press E, go into this little dark little chamber, off this really cool sky bridge style thing. Um, whoa, bit of a bug. Still a bit glitchy, but uh, it's a work in progress. So this game is actually in um, early access right now. So. Uh, it will definitely be improved upon, and if you find bugs, just report them to the developer on the uh, forums or via Twitter or whatever, and uh, he will actually respond. So yeah, I just walked over all of them, but I don't have any names on them. But basically, they give you ammo, health, and like shields. Um, that's pretty much it. And yeah, they're really basic, but it's kind of stuff that would be really, really good in an arena shooter sort of style thing. Oh, okay, I know what's happening. They're not connected at the top fully. Um, and that's not it, of course, in terms of blocks. There's an entire different uh, thing. 
which is actually a jetpack, which I have right now. Um, and it's really, really fun. I built this tower here just to show off the jetpack a bit and how you can go around the place with the jetpack. Um, it does have a uh, little, I guess, stamina bar on the top left-hand side of the screen, the yellow bar. Um, I just barely made it up, which is how it's actually designed. And then, yeah, and you can jump down from here. Um, it is a bit odd how it doesn't really slow you down, it just instantly thrusts you up, but I guess community feedback could be a developer choice. Uh, I don't know. And here are just all the guns that you can choose. I mean, there are a lot of guns in my opinion. Like, you have all sort of the basics from uh, arena shooters, like you have one mega blaster cannon, you have an iron thing, and this is just my version of a uh, shooting range, which I find pretty fun at times. There is accuracy on some of the guns, like for instance, the, um, what is this one called actually? The uh, Iron Impaler actually has, I think it has no um, accuracy, like degradation I guess you could say, like the longer the range, it's still as accurate as it is at normal range. Um, but then this gun for instance is just a massive cannon that is actually insane in my opinion. All right, I'm just gonna let it charge up. So yeah, it's actually like a beast, though. So yeah, and then there's also this one which you guys saw before. It's a bouncy one, which is really really fun to use. It actually bounces off because uh, these aren't flat surfaces here. It'll bounce differently off these depending on where I shoot them from which is a neat little addition um, and then there's the mine launcher of course every game's got to have a mine launcher um, so yeah that's and then scattershot which I believe got a remodeling it used to be yellow in a, it, uh, maybe not a remodeling but a re um, texturing I guess because uh, it used to be yellow and to be honest it was an, it was a really nice gun before but now it just looks a bit more um, it sort of suits the rest. Of so guys, here's the uh, airport that I was talking about at the beginning of the video when I was talking about the user creations. You can see there are a couple of uh, planes here and um, propeller planes. There's also a air shuttle place. It's a really, really cool um, sort of design, in my opinion. Uh, it looks visually, it looks stunning, in my opinion. The reflections are really on point. Um, it, the colors are really nice and fluorescent. The designs of the planes, in my opinion, are really, really interesting. Like, I would not have thought to have done it, like, the way that this uh, guy did. Like, I, I wouldn't have thought of using the quarter blocks to do the uh, biplane. Yeah, that is a biplane. To do the biplane, and uh, I definitely would not have thought of actually using the seats as seats. <laughs> that is something that has not occurred to me. I actually forgot seats were in the game for the longest time. Um, so yeah, this is just like one example of stuff you can do, um, stuff that people have done. It, it's really, it's really a game with like, um, endless possibilities, might I say, uh, cause you can literally make the game whatever you want it to be. It can be a parkour game, it can be a building game, it can be a role playing game. It can literally be whatever you want it to be. And that is just amazing. Like, oh my gosh, this is actually a really cool plane. No smoking. Fasten seat belts. Wow. Really, really cool. Very, very neat design. So guys, thanks for watching the video about Megatech. And uh, if you guys want more regarding updates for this game and potentially future builds that my friends and I might be doing on this channel, just stay tuned. Remember to subscribe and hit the like if you enjoyed the game. Remember to go support the uh, Megatech um, game, uh, either through buying it on Steam or buying it through the Time Drop Studios website. Anyways, that's all for me, and have a nice day.